Hi dear students, do you struggle between some options while eliminating or are you very bad at smart guessing? Do you find it difficult to tackle with negative marking? Then this video is for you. My name is Dr. Amir Godil and I am a faculty at Meritors and I am going to tell you how to smart guess and minimize errors with negative marking. Now consider this question in the exam. Identify the technique used for implant placement and you have an image given where you have a piece of root in the bone and then there is an osteotomy for the implant and then finally you have the implant placed over here. And now let's look at the options. Conventional implant technique, socket shield technique, GBR that's guided bone regeneration technique and immediate implantation. Now consider that you have no idea about this topic at all. First thing would be to eliminate two obvious options from the given four options. Now if you look at GBR, that would mean guided bone regeneration, that is a graft associated procedure. Right? So you can definitely say that this is nothing associated with a graft. Option number one is a conventional implant technique. Now you can see in the image that it is different from what you would conventionally do. So again, this is an incorrect option. That leaves you with two options, number two and number three. Now this is an immediate implant placement because you can see that the piece of root is still there and the tooth was extracted. So the socket is still there. So you would be confused between these two options. And if you choose between these two options, the chances of you getting a correct answer is 50%. It is necessary for you to smart guess in your exam because some questions will appear as if they're just new. You've not seen them before and you must attempt at least 220 questions or roughly out of 240 to get a good answer or a good score. Now, if you attempt 220 questions, for example, how do you do that? Suppose if you are confident with 200 and the 20 other questions that you are attempting, you have to smart guess. For every correct answer, you get a plus four. For every incorrect, you get minus one. For two correct, you will get plus eight. So if you are attempting five questions, you will have a total of plus five compared to a plus four. So I would definitely advise that you understand the math here and take the risk associated with smart guessing. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and good luck for your exam.